and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on for the win every card challenge. We're going to go ahead and give it a try here with Simic Wishes. As we were talking about a lot yesterday when everybody's asking what we were going to be doing, this is what we're going to try this event with. So what this event is all about is we get to um, play a free event here where we try to win 12 matches before we lose two. And by matches, I mean games. It's best of one. And therefore, we're going to have a lot of variants. It's going to be tough. I'm not expecting to, to have like the best record because, you know, it's best of one. You know, anything can happen here. But we're going to give it our best shot and see how many wins we can put together. Uh, so, yeah, this is the deck we played on Thursday. Uh, preparing for this event. Played a lot of decks overall last week uh, in best of one. That I was, you know, giving some different recommendations for also. Um, the I made two very small changes. I talked about it on stream yesterday and people asked, but, um, you know, just to, to show them here. So I took out the Paradise Druid and um, added in an extra land, basically, because so many times with, like, our Risen Reefs, we just want to keep on hitting a bunch of lands, and we want to get a lot of lands into play to, like, help Nissa and everything. And I also cut back um, a Thornwood Falls um, to kind of get rid of another tap land. And so instead of the Thornwood Falls and the Paradise Druid, we have two Overgrown Tombs, which can help uh, cast Finality or Unmoored Ego from our sideboard. So we don't have to just rely on the Gooses to, I guess that'd be the Geese, the Geese to uh, cast those cards. But what our deck's all about is, uh, you know, ramping up hard, basically. We're trying to, you know, get Risen Reef into play to get extra lands, Cavalier of Thorns get extra lands. Of course, we have our Mana Creatures as well. Get us to Nyssa, which can really increase our mana, be able to cast huge Hydrocrasis. And then also, um, with a lot of mana, we use Granted, the Granted part of Fae of Wishes, to be able to get some really powerful cards in our sideboard, as you can see here. Um, sometimes we'll need to grab another land. So I've got a Fable Passage in here. Like, maybe we just have four mana for Fae of Wishes, but then we have, like, Cavaliers and Nissas in hand. And so we need that fifth mana. And so Fae of Wishes can grab a land. So we got a Fabled Passage for that. Um, but besides that, you know, we have... Because, you know, Fabled Passage could be green or blue, but hopefully be untapped there. Um, but yeah, we got like some finales to help end games. Plain White Celebration to gain a whole bunch of life and, and bring stuff back. Um, you know, Tamiyo that can rebuy any of our cards. Flood of Tears to, to bounce all sorts of... Uh, tokens if our opponents make a bunch of like zombie tokens or anything obviously mass manipulation is just incredible uh jace if we're self-milling you know if like we're milling ourselves out with with cavalier thorns and everything we can grab a jace on mordigo and ashiok when we need those spyglass can shut down teferi or you know just a whole bunch of things we can just have a spyglass to shut shut stuff down if we want um i you know thought about replacing veil of summer i kind of wanted like three mana teferi to be able to go grab against the flash decks but it's kind of hard to cast because we'd only be relying on the goose for that. So I, I could see my opponent allow like a, a Simic Flash opponent. I cast Granted. They're like, okay, that resolves because then they play like a creature instead. And um, then they're just planning on countering whatever I go grab. And maybe, and maybe then, then I go grab Veil of Summer. And then I can go like Veil of Summer plus, you know, like Cavalier of Thorn or something. And I don't know. It's, you know, one out of 15. I think there's there's a reason to have it. So. Okay, let's let's give our deck a, a let's give a give our deck a shot here. All right, so we got the win every card challenge. All right, so um, you do get you get different like just random rares for for like for getting uh, less than twelve wins. Also, but if we win all all twelve, we get one copy of every card in standard. So that'd be cool. For just playing, even if we get zero wins, you know, even if we uh, lay an egg, we get an egg sleeve. So that's good. Choose your fighter. All right, we're going to play Simic Wishes, best of one. Here we go. Hey, Nova. Hey, there you go. You went 11 and 2? That is awesome. Good job with the Simic Wishes deck here. Well, that, that gives me some confidence. Good job, Nova. Way to go.
so yeah, the, the 12 win event, you gotta do it today. Um, it, it ends like tomorrow morning. Um, there's, I don't know, around like 20 hours left to do this event. It's for, it's free for everybody on arena and you, they give you access to all of the cards on arena. So you don't have to worry about only having whatever cards in your collection. Hey, Dr. K. Ooh. I think I need to mulligan this. I don't know. Oko is really good. I'm obviously... Of course, I'm on the draw. I think I'm going to mulligan. This hand's not really better. Yes, I understand you, opponent. Hello. I'm making my mulligan decisions. I couldn't say hello back. Let's see. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, so I could try to once upon a time right now to, to find a goose. I'm going to just wait till next turn. And we'll just get the Thornwood Falls into play there. Then next turn, we can find Goose or Leafkin Druid. <laughs> turn with that first day, we could have gone turn two, Crisis, then turn three, Oko. I have a lot of different ties. So I'm kind of expecting my opponent to be on Simic Flash, which I, but I kind of hope not. <laughs> yep, I did. We just started. Huh. All right, look for Leafkin or Goose. We found Goose. I guess my opponent was not happy about me hitting the mute button. How does the challenge work? Um, you just build a you just build a best of one deck. You can play it, and you you can switch your decks also. So you don't have to play the same deck over and over again if you don't want to. If you want to <clears throat> change your deck, but you just play until you either win twelve matches or lose two matches. Whatever happens first. I do not play any modern. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Death Cap for Cutie is pretty nice. I guess I can delete the event command now. Um the odds of winning at twelve with only losing two are not or like with only one loss. Yeah, because it's only one loss, so yeah, those odds are are not good. I think that's the that's the exact percentage. Is the odds are not good out of a hundred. No, I don't, Enrique. I don't. So if you have a fifty, I guess while our opponent is. Well, what if it's just win twelve in a row? Two, 
So if um, if if every match is fifty percent, and you gotta win, and if to win twelve in a row, so you know obviously this is not just twelve in a row, but winning twelve in a row is a two point four percent chance, pretty close to two and a half percent chance of winning twelve in a row. There we go, one zero. -oh, let's go. No, it's not a twelve-hour stream. Nope, just doing a, a Sunday earlier Sunday matinee stream. We're just um, starting two hours early today. I'll finish two hours early. Hmm. I think I keep this. It's not a 12 hour stream, it's a 12 win stream. Hopefully. Alright, gonna cast this so if we find a temple, we can play it. Um, Oko is really good. Oh, I, oh, okay, it's, it's not 2%, it's 0.02%. Oh, whoops. I had the decimal in the wrong spot. 0.02%. My bad, my bad. Hmm. I wish I had more different colors of mana. Um, yeah, this would be a nice nice time to go grab one more ego, but I don't I don't have black mana. I sh guess I could I could have grabbed Overgrown Tomb with this once upon a time, but I guess we didn't have blue mana at the time. And even grabbing Ashiok, I don't have I don't have double blue for Ashiok either. I don't want to Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. I think I don't want to take up on the temple with that being my only blue source right now.
think up a fun fate for you. <sighs> okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, wrong button. I meant turn this food into a creature so these things add multiple mana. Darn it. Rise, my elemental friend. All right, I guess I'm just going to play Krasis here. That wasn't really exactly my plan. Yeah, so that wasn't exactly my plan. But that that's just fine though. So I'm gonna need uh, so we got get more blue mana here, which is good. Probably gonna have to be using Fae of Wishes for Flood of Tears eventually, because we can't find black mana right now. Fine, remain blind. All right, well, that was terrible. Hey, what's up, Caius? Thanks for that tier one sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, playing Leaf King Druids and Nissa are not good against Time Wipe. Time Wipe. Time Wipe's really good against me. Why they grabbed ego? Walk with me, sing with me. I will enlighten you. Let's broaden your existence. Harness the elements.
Like, are they... Like, they didn't grab something to deal with Nyssa. Like, are they just going to let me ultimate Nyssa? They just completely wasted Fae of Wishes. They didn't even get any Nyssas out of my deck. Do they do they know what Unmoored Ego does? Do they did maybe they thought that was a removal spell for Nissa? I don't know, I'm so confused. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. Now just attacks two two twos into two three threes. Okay. The land will help us find a way. So I have eight, nine, so I have nine mana. Anything I want to fay for for five mana? Not really. I have five mana left. Perfect. No lands. It's like I took all my lands out of my deck or something. I invite you to change your way. So I got 21 cards left. A lot of things I could do. You know, I can play in white celebration to get like, you know, Nissa's and Cavalier Thorns back. Um good chance I'm winning this with Jace. So you know, using you know, going in and looking for Jace. Good way, that's how I'm going to be winning this. Why, why are you attacking with these two twos? Yes, I would like more mana, please. Thank you.
So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, potentially 18 mana. So that's that's this. 18 minus 4 is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So I can steal 7 things with manipulation. That's probably pretty good. Let's broaden your existence. Hmm. So I have twenty one cards in library. Yeah, it's not going to be too hard to self-mill. Basically, like, they're going to be able to get lots of zombies all the time, is my assumption. And so, like, that's I'm basically using that as, like, a wrath effect. I'm expecting, I'm kind of expecting them to play, like, a another uh, time wipe or something. But, yeah, they'll, they'll be able to get tons of zombies. This will help me stay alive for a little bit while I take a turn to, like, play some Krasis and stuff. Yeah, Finale of Devastation doesn't give Trample. My Krasis doesn't have Trample anymore. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't think I can go Jace with crisis yet I don't think I can draw enough cards I don't know we're gonna kind of check here so 13 cards Jace costs 4, and then I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22. So I can draw 10 with Krasis. Um, that's not quite enough. So I can go grab like Tamiya or Ashiok first. So if like if I get Tamiya, that's four cards, but that's just out of eight mana. That would have been four cards anyway. I don't know, just playing this for eight. I'm kind of running out of time, and I have zero timeouts and everything, so I do have to be a little worried about time management here. Nine cards.
Really, why would you tap that land? Can I not tap this? Oh. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. That is true that I could just finale for lethal also with having all the flyers, the green finale. Oh no, Blazing Blue, you were 5-2, you were crushing everyone, but then clicked to the wrong side of Murderous Rider and died. Ugh. Sorry to hear, that's how you lost, but still, 5-2 is a really good event. Yeah, I mean, I have another Fey right here. I could, I'm, I'm planning on bouncing this Fey and putting this back in my hand. I'm planning on discarding two cards and putting this back in my hand. By end of turn with this Breeding Pool. <laughs> yeah, Kiwi fell. There's there's a lot to go into to magic. There's a lot of cards do a lot of things. It's a difficult game, but hope you're enjoying it so far. All right, well I have Ashiok, so that card does nothing. So how should I win this? Should I win with this with Jace, or should I win this with Finale? Let's go. Let's go, Jace. Do I actually win it with Finale? Yeah, I gotta win it with Finale. Four flyers to two blockers. So how much mana do I have? That's eight. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Times two is twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty-two. So I have 32 mana, so I could finale for 30. Yeah, I mean, they could just randomly have a fog. Jace is the safer play, I guess, because if, if they just have a fog randomly. I mean, if they have a fog, whatever, let's do finale. Your new look is enchanting. All right, I assume I can do 30. I counted out a little bit ago. Let's see if just auto pay does 30. Looks like it does. I guess I could have done 32. Because of the untap with Nissa. I didn't count the untap with Nissa. Um, sure.
<laughs> Crater Ur Hoof. Oh, that was sweet. We invite Jace a lot. We don't really do finale for 30 too often. <laughs> uh. All right, that was worth it. So that's that's our plan when some somebody that was asking before, how do we beat Field of the Dead? That's our plan. Go bigger. <laughs> I think finale for 30 is bigger. Yeah, I was not going to attack all. I was just going to attack with the flyers. I didn't want to get fogged and then lose the next turn. All right. Looks like a decent hand. I'm glad that we're on the play. We're going to once upon a time see if we get a goose. Can we get a goose? Uh, we are not golden. Not golden. Um, so is it better just getting a third land or grabbing a Leafkin Druid? They could kill Leafkin Druid on two, and then I wouldn't have three. Well, they're not killing a forest. So I'm going to grab the forest. <laughs> what kind of eggs does a 30-32 Golden Goose lay? It's <laughs> a good question. It's a very good question. Alright, I don't I don't want to take a damage. Or two damage. Whatever. However much damage. I don't want to take it. I'm playing a 1-4. Alright, gonna go Risen Reef here, hopefully hit a land. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So we can go straight into Cavalier of Thorns next turn. Uh, it's not, my hand's not necessarily full of gas. I mean, I, I would like, ideally, I would like to draw a Hydroicrasis. But yeah, maybe, maybe I should just keep the land. I mean, we already, like, we have, we have six lands here, because, like, Cavalier is going to hit a land, so that's six lands. Nissa like, makes more mana. Wow. That Risen Reef. met a pretty swift end. I was not expecting the Risen Reef's rain to end that quickly. So if I play Nissa, one, two, three, four, five, I'd have four mana. So I can go like Nissa Oko next turn. Every 
tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. So once upon a time, I should be able to go find Krasis easier, which is that's like the card that I really want because that'll draw a lot of cards. They'll make it'll make it easier to put Fae of Wishes back into my hand and, and so on and so forth. Um, maybe I like mean, I could have just grabbed Risen Reef instead of Once Upon a Time because you know that draws a card, but we don't have like more elementals to really chain together for Risen Reef. Well, Fae of Wishes only gets non-creature cards, so Andre's Forerunners doesn't is it a card you can choose. So in that aspect, Green Finale is better. I do not know why the Murderous Riders are in different spots. Like, the Gutter Bones is supposed to be in a different spot. I assure you our deal is worth your while. Behold, nature's true power. Yeah, my, my opponent looked a little hungry. So I gave him gave him some food. Nice guy. The fabled passages in the sideboard for like whenever we have four mana and we have like Nyssa and Cavalier in hand and but we don't have a fifth land, we can Fay of Wishes for like our four mana, go grab a fifth land, and then you know I can use it for either blue or green, like either way there with the fabled passage. And then we then turn us into five mana to be able to start slamming Cavalier and Nissa. So I'm still going to have two, four, six. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm still going to have 12 mana. Is that right? 2, two 4, 6, 8. Untap a land with Nyssa, 10, and then 11, 12. Yeah, we're still going to have 12 mana. I can just, like, steal all their things. No, I don't have enough blue to steal all their things. Let's just draw 10 cards. All right, we'll untap breeding pool, forest, forest. I mean, we might as well just untap these forests. So that's two, four, six, seven. I guess let's just do two, four, six, eight, ten. Crisis for eight. I'll 
Looks like a good 3-3. Three, three. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. That was that was a pretty good turn. I think it was worth discarding the Oko in the forest to put the Fey of Wishes back into our hand. Yeah, I could. We could definitely attack for lethal Ugh, with Flood of Tears. Good call. We could definitely do that. Might as well. We haven't played Flood of Tears yet. Don't give me much time over here. Is it going to be lethal? I guess it's not. Cuz I have to tap two I have to tap these extra blue lands. Hmm. All right. New plan. We'll do that next turn. All right, new plan. That plan didn't work. Oh, yeah, I guess the Oko plus could have been lethal. I don't know, just go to combat. Just attack with this thing. Doesn't really matter what we do. This game's already over. <laughs> Make a food. Welcome to the feast. It's just, you know, how we decide that we want to win. The, the rope... The rope is kind of uh, nerve-wracking, though. But yeah, it really doesn't matter what we do. <laughs> yeah, they could cast Ritual Set. I like it. Get that attack in. Respectable. I mean, even a, even a planar cleansing, we really wouldn't be doing very bad. This planar cleansing wouldn't destroy our lands. We'd still have, like, our nine lands in play. Don't they just want to, like, there's not really any point to doing that. I'm going to cast these once upon a times. Spring eternal. All 
All right, we three now. We three now. I just <laughs> bad manners. I just I just wanted to ultimate Nissa. I didn't actually go get any lands. I was gonna go straight to attacking. I just wanted to ultimate Nissa. Spring et eternal. Ugh. All right, new game. Hmm. We have a goose. The rest of our hands pretty bad though. I don't like that we don't get to make food on turn two. Because we're gonna have to start we're gonna have to play these temples and stuff. Hit some lands. Darn. So I can make a food next turn and play temple. <laughs> I mean, that's that's really what our deck does. Is all we're trying to do is just get to the end end game where we survived. We have tons of mana, and it and it doesn't really matter what we do. We can just do so much ridiculous stuff. The actual decisions don't matter too much. Um, actually, maybe I should play the Thornwood Falls here first. Let's do that. I'm playing Falls instead of Temple because, honestly, there's not really anything I necessarily need to look for or scry to the top. Like, if we draw a land, that's fine. If we draw a spell, that's fine. It's it's not like I specifically need any card right now. So I'm just going to play the Falls instead of the Temple. Yeah, right above you, Darknoth. That, that link right there. There's the link to the deck. Let's slow this down. Tick up. Bounce Resin Reef. I'll protect you. Whoops. Basically, the biggest thing that I have to be worried about is sweepers from my opponent. <clears throat> Please don't play like Deafening Clarion or anything like that. You know, with playing a Nissa deck, you really have to be worried about sweepers. Boo. I've got it. So I'm thinking grab Ugin because I'm sure my opponent's playing a Fires of Invention deck. So I'm thinking grab Ugin for Fires of Invention or um or you know maybe they have like Sarkin or something like that. Or maybe they're playing the Elementals. Be 
Yeah, Tamio being able to get back land. I was definitely thinking about Tamio also. Like that was kind of like the cards I was kind of debating between Tamio, Ugin. I fight with a dragon's rage. Behold! All right, so it is Sarkin. So two, four, five, six. I I do, Astoria. And fear are the mystery. Be gone, interloper. Now, do I actually want to take up on another land because of a sweeper? Kind of say want to say no. I guess if they're casting a sweeper, they're not killing my Nissa, though. No peace and defeat. Um, yeah, you, yeah, you can get killed. That's fine too. Cause yeah, if they if they cast a sweeper, they don't they don't take out my Nissa, they don't take out my Ugin. So I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's so that's what we're trying. You know, like we really want to knit old Nissa. Darn. My strength fades. I still have much to learn. Which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. All right. I like where we're at. We'll see, like, you know, against, we're perfectly fine against Clarion. We'll see what their other two cards are. They kind of need, like, another, like, Sarkin. Something like that to pressure me. Going Fey, maybe another prison realm. Elder spell. Well, they're gonna need a fires of invention for that. I guess they're just hoping to top deck fires of invention. So what can Krasis be? Two, four, six, eight, ten. You go Krasis for four. Or sorry, yeah, Krasis draw for you and Krasis for eight. Let's just play a Cavalier first.
So I guess they're just hoping to draw like. But I mean, if they if they draw fires of invention and play fires elder spell, they're dead to all my creatures. So yeah. Okay, well our our event has started very well. We're 4-0 here with Simic Wishes. Ooh. Oh, it's it's Sunday. It's new XP day. We got a pack to crack. Let's do it. Hopefully get Mythics. I checked and I have base almost every single rare in the set. It's like Witch's Vengeance and like one more rare. And then we're going to start getting gems already for these packs. It's like one week in. And we're going to start getting gems for them. But they're still, like, I you know, I counted up, like, all the rares to get, or, sorry, all the mythics. If I want, like, 4x of all the mythics, I still need, like, 30 mythics still. But I'm going to have 4x of every rare, but I'm still going still to need, like, 30 mythics. Ugh, getting all the mythics is tough. Okay. We got turn two Oko. Yeah, you can yeah, you can change your decks between between games in this event if you'd like. It's not poison. Trust me. Hmm. Is it... No, it's not. Ugh. Fortunately, my opponent's just on the play with turn two, Oko. Yeah, I don't. I don't like my chances with this game. Welcome to the feast. <laughs> yeah, Cavalier is pretty bad against Oko. I mean, it still, it still gets you a land, you know. So it's still, you know, a three-three that that puts a land into play. So it's not, it's not terrible. <laughs> Uh, no, this isn't a mirror. We just this you know my opponent's playing Sultai, of course. Okay, so they're playing Sultai tokens. Speaking of cards that are bad, like Woodland Champion's a little worse against Oko. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Because that does not draw a card. I mean, if they have removal from Ioko, we are in a lot of trouble. Huh. I see how it is. Well, we are in a lot of trouble. I mean, basically, I need I need to get another land here. I guess it's a lot safer to play Leafkin to have another land. Well, maybe I should play Temple first. Ugh, gross. All right, that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and go grab Spyglass and have Spyglass name Oko next turn. I think that's my plan. 
How is it? Why are they attacking first? Why are they not using Oko? I guess if they're going to Oko on my Risen Reef, they're going to turn Risen Reef into a 3-3. That's why they would do that. Or they're just trading, right? Fine. <laughs> Fairness. What a bizarre expectation. It's fine. I mean, they could have another trophy, I guess. Them having another trophy would be bad for me. Can't really stop that from happening, though. Could grab Ugin for next turn to kill Oko. Crowns. No, Brian, we I talked about it a bunch yesterday. I Just because I think Simic Flash was, was very good does, doesn't mean that I was playing it. I was I didn't want to play because of how many people don't like Simic Flash. I didn't, I didn't want to play it. I wanted to play something else. And so we're playing this. That's well, even worse than them having a trophy. Even worse. Obviously, they can Legions end the Fae of Wishes. I hope they don't do that, but they can. Um, my best bet is they don't do that, and I draw an untapped land. That's that's kind of like what I need right now, is them not to kill my Fae of Wishes and for me to draw an untapped land. If we do that, we got a shot. Darn. Then I can go grab, I could have gone and grabbed Flood of Tears and balance everything, put the Risen Reef back into my hand, put Cavalier Thorn back into my hand after they turn it into a 3-3 here, and, you know, slow them down with them only having the four lands in play. I think a little merriment is in order. Huh. Hey, Borvat, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. And Cobb. 
Also, the Twitch Prime sub there. Thank you, Cobb. That's our sixth sub of the day. I'm a little behind there. I'll update that. And Nikki Wonka. Man, all the subs. Y'all are awesome. I uh, love you too, Nikki. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're 4-0 for now. We're pretty far behind here, though. So we'll see how... We'll see how much that actually... <clears throat> how, how we actually get to continue that. I would guess we're going to be 4-1. I'm, I'm not playing 3-color, Meto. I'm playing 2-color. My, my opponent's playing three color. Like, they actually have Oko in their main deck. And everything. Oh. Loyalty is fickle and fragile. your head out here. It was probably going to die anyway. So yeah, if I if I want mass manipulation, I have to draw a blue source, but I still can't really even steal that much stuff anyway. Ugh. Temple, why are you killing me? Why do you gotta be tapped? If I play a large Krasis, Frasca kills Krasis. So how much money do I have? Two... So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Um Gosh, I need to hurry up. No, 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 wrong card. The land shall conquer you. 
I'm wanting to grab Flood of Tears. I just realized like this rope and I, I didn't have a, an extra timeout and so I kind of panicked there. Gosh, they really do not give you very much time to think when you have 15 cards in your sideboard. You have so many options. They really do not give you very much time. There's so many options, Siege Breaker. Yes, I'm playing slowly. The amount of options with this to, to think about. I mean, look how far behind I am. I have to try to find think of some, like, you know, find some way. There's a lot of the a lot of options. Now. Yeah, I wasn't really just counting the mana. I was really thinking of just going through like the different cards to grab. And like what I'm gonna do with Flood of Tears and what what's it's gonna look like the next turn and so on. Maybe I'm thinking too far ahead. Welcome to the feast. But then, yeah, I I saw the zero and just panicked with the turn about to end. All right, so getting Spyglass early on really did not work at all. You know, I got Spyglass early on to try to stop Oko, and uh, my opponent immediately had Vraska Golgari Queen to kill the Spyglass. You know, that, that was their their uh, first draw step was Vraska. So that really hurt that I spent an entire turn to do nothing early on in that game when I was already behind against Oko. Um, that, that really hurt, because then, then I was just so far behind at that point. Yeah, that's that's what I was that's what I was gonna do is try to get flooded tears. Um, I clicked on the wrong card. <laughs> I clicked on there's another blue card that started with an F. It was finale. They still would have had like the the three you know my three three land. They still would have had that. Oh well, we gotta just forget about that. Got a different match here. Yeah, but clicked the wrong card. Ooh. Power surges through these lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on. My plan was to play Cavalier. Originally, if we get really lucky. We'll um, if we get really lucky, we'll draw swamp or you know overgrown tomb here, and then I can cast on Mordigo this next turn. Mm-hmm. 
seen that coming. You. This is hardly my worst defeat. Alright, well we just got rid of four gates there. We're playing a lot of gates. So yeah, good chance of gates ablaze. If they're playing that many gates. But obviously they should be playing a bunch of circuitous routes and goloses that hopefully we have shut down now here with Ashiok. We got two, three, we got three black gates. So, you know, how, who knows how much actual black mana they're playing. There's a black ape. I'm known for my excellent timing. No, I am not making this up as I go. Sure seems like you're making it up as you go. So we can't potentially ultimate Nissa this next turn. I leave you with my victory was but a dream. All right, so two Golos down. And a gate's ablaze. Here goes nothing. I'm ditching Forest and Island here to put Fay of Wishes back in my hand. Yep, that's what I'm. So that's the plan is to put Faye back into my hand. Quite unfortunate. Rise, my elemental friend.
not fail. The land fights for us. I've done the hero thing before. No, I don't I don't really like an attack here because I, I really need these I really need my lands. Um so yeah, I was you know I was definitely thinking about attacking, but I, I need my lands for like extra mana and I don't I really want blockers to, to help protect Ashiok and Nissa, especially Ashiok. Um and so I don't really want to cast the Fey of Wishes here for that. My plan for next turn. If I draw an untapped blue source, I can go manipulation. I could flood of tears. Replay Nissa, but that, that gives them Agent of Treachery back. I can unmoor to Ego. I'm not exactly sure what to unmoor to Ego, though. Two. Just play a huge crisis. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's just a large crisis. They're down to 19 cards. Nature's true power. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, I, did, I didn't actually want to tick up Nissa yet. Crap, I meant to do this first and then tick up Nissa. I just kind of messed that up. Oh well, so I guess I'll, I'll play Crisis now. Um. <laughs> yeah, time wipe still a card. That I don't mind time wipe so much. I basically need to need to keep my opponent from winning the next few turns. Like they don't have they have 18 cards left in their library, so not a ton. Yeah, they could. Yeah, they can bounce agent, take Nissa again. I could. I get to return Nissa back from my graveyard. Might be a bad idea. Though with plain white celebration, but yeah, no. I I, I wanted to ultimate Nissa. I. <laughs> Gosh, just so many decisions. I have. I've not played this perfectly, but. 
so basically what you know while i was thinking that i was like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna proliferate you know ultimate nissa get a bunch of lands into play but then i was like oh i should take up on you know i just for a half second there i was like oh i should take up on nissa first and um and get an extra land into play to proliferate yeah, you know, so I was, you know, like after I thought that, I was like, oh, I should get an extra land into play to proliferate. And so then I, I just kind of did that. And then immediately after doing that, I was like, wait, I can't, I'm not, I can't do that. But I, you know, like with, with how Arita is, like you just have to go so fast. <laughs> so I just, I got distracted there by the let's get an extra land to proliferate for just a like, you know, for five seconds there. And then I did that, and then I immediately was like, no. So yeah. So that's that's what just happened there. Um, I don't expect my opponent to have another Jace. You don't usually see people have multiple Jaces. It's pretty uncommon. I'm gonna get to Fairy out of here so they don't get to keep taking that thing up. Oh, I didn't ultimate Nissa first, so these are not indestructible. All right, whatever. Well, we're getting to Fairy out of here. I I thought like all right, second main. Again, I just keep on. I was like second main. We're gonna want to have double mana, but we're still gonna have double mana. All right. Speaks, I shall listen. <laughs> Yeah, there's so many things. Okay. Alright, we're fine. We basically win this game next turn with Fey of Wishes. Sure, I didn't I didn't attack I didn't make them sack three zombies. But I don't I don't know exactly how my opponent's gonna save themselves. I know it's the land so stressful for those who are worthy. All right, good ultimate. Have we killed all the Teferis? Not even close. Just the two. Three. Okay, three Teferis down. That's good. No. This isn't a fight you can win. Uh, it depends on like what my opponent does here, for what card I'll use to win. I've got time. Are they gonna have instant speed sweeper? How many gates do we got over here? Not ten gates. Wait, that's a gate. They got blue mana there, so they could have. No, they could not have time wipe. 
Good. Yeah, tap out. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, green green finale for this crisis. Also just like manipulation and steal everything. Yeah, Krasis has trample. Doesn't doesn't matter that they have Grazer. All right, no gates of blaze there. That's good. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Finale for fourteen. Do they have a bounce spell? Do creatures gain haste? Let's play this goose. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So this for thirteen. Play the card. I'm not going to tap the the lands that are creatures. I guess I should do 11. I guess I should cast this thing. Does Krasis stay alive if I make this thing an 11-11? Or does it, is it a 0-0 zero, zero and it doesn't stay alive? I don't know. I don't know about this. Like, does this stay alive? Yeah, I mean, they could have a random fog. I suppose. But yeah, they should be dead in the air. Only got nine cards left, anyway. GG's. All right. Uh, so yeah, I made I made a couple of little mistakes in there that probably could have could have done a little bit better, but it's all good. It's all good. Hey, Escoria, GG's. GG's. Okay. So where are we at? We're at five and one. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, good good call. I, I've been uh, just joining the, the matches, the games back to back there. <laughs> That's stressful. Y'all want me to restart the client? All right, I can restart client. Well, so far we've beaten all the Field of the Dead decks, all two of them. So 
doesn't seem like too terrible of a matchup for us. Our loss was to Oko. I don't want to see Oko. Oko shutting down my Cavalier and everything. All right. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice at twelve one. Yeah, no, we've no, we were we're not going to, but we're a long ways away from that. We're a long ways away from that. We're just trying to get this sixth win here. See what happens. Basically keeping this because we have the temple. Should be able to get us another land. Good. I do like that our mass manipulations are also one fours that get to block. It's pretty nice. So I need Risen Reef to hit a land, and then to also draw a land. Huh. Or I could not shock and just play this temple here and just basically slow down a turn. Because there's... A pretty good chance that I'm not playing Cavalier next turn anyway. I mean, it, I'd have to get really lucky to play Cavalier next turn anyway. Yeah, I have four Okos in the deck. Probably light up the stage here. Basically turn their creature into a lightning bolt. Good. Really, Obviously I really like the Oko draw. <clears throat> because it can, you know, we can get food tokens to gain life. So why not shock out the Reef the previous turn? Is because I wasn't really going to have anything to do the next turn. I didn't want to play a 2-2 Krasis. Even if we hit a land. Like, we may not have even hit a land, though. Go to 10. Gain a life. Get him. Man, I could play Cavalier and we have to hit an untapped land for Oko. That's so risky, though. That's so risky. I'm just going to play Oko and Gilded Goose. Walk with me. Sing with me. I will enlighten you. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Yeah, Jeskai Fires is pretty good. We 
defeated a Jeskai Fires deck earlier. Chandra, you need more control. Just let me burn. Say hi to my fiery friends. I don't know what my opponent's doing attacking with Torbrand. I mean, they probably just have another Torbrand. Maybe that's it. They just have another Torbrand. But they could have left their Torbrand back to, to block. I get to freely kill their Chandra now. Right now. So four, five, six, seven. If I would have cast Krasis, I would gain three life. To the feast. This also just gains three life. Um, but then also, you know, but then I have a 5-6 and I can make another food. That was not a good enough turn for my opponent. That was not a good enough turn. you to change your ways for I'm going with six so I can still crack this food if need be yeah Oko is so, so powerful. Pretty unreal powerful. GG's. All right, six wins. <clears throat> Does Oko need balancing? That's not that's just not a thing in magic. Like there's you know, you, you can't change cards once it's printed. So there's there's no sense in trying to change a card once it's printed. We're only 110 YouTube subs away from 10,000. 
thing. We are almost there. So if if y'all are kind of newer to the channel, I put all of the replays, including this, up on the YouTube channel. So you can check it out there at youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. So it looks like Sultai Field of the Dead. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel one by. And all your kids. So what it looks like what we got going on here. Unfortunately, I don't have tons of mana. Boko is very good against... Um... It's very good against cards like um, Yurok and Golos and things like that that my opponent may be playing. Welcome to the feast. <clears throat> now, three three is just isn't so valuable. My plan here. Dang. That is very rough. That is very rough. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. My plan was kind of to uncast on Mordigo the next turn. What, I have like four mana? What's, what do I have for four mana that I want? Not really anything. I've been looking for. Yeah, my, my plan was kind of to, to, like, this turn was actually to go get Unmored Ego and then Unmored Ego away Field of the Dead. But with that Agent and Treachery taking my Yoko, my plans have changed. Shocking in the eighth land. It's probably a crisis for six. 
I am I am very glad they did not get rid of my goose. I'm very glad they didn't get rid of my goose. Welcome to the feast. Well, stealing agent of treachery, I mean, I, I can only take two things. Like, stealing agent of treachery, you don't get the agent of treachery trigger whenever it enters the battlefield. Because it's, it's already on the battlefield. So you don't get to take agent of treachery and then take something else. Oh, oh with Oko? Just take it with Oko? Yeah. I, don't, I mean, then I... I don't get the draw three. I only have Krasis and, and Treachery that's theirs. This Oko is still this still I'm I'm the owner of the Oko. I don't get the draw three. So I I'm just making the food here and then cracking a food and gaining three life. With them being a little more aggressive there. Yeah, Leafkin only tapped for one before. Now it taps for two now that I have the Krasis. But before I took the Krasis, it only tapped for one. So four, eight, ten. Cast this thing for eight. Yeah, I'll take I'll take the resin reef. I assure you our deal is worth your while. Yep, our deal is worth your while, I'm, I assure you. <laughs> surely, surely your three mana planeswalker is dead after ulting, right? <laughs> Not even close. Not even close. No, I don't. I really don't want the agent. I, I got enough cards. We don't. We don't need to take the agent. We're good. That's a card I wanted. What's up, Telstar? Thanks for the resub. It's not poison. Trust me. Uh, 
We'll just keep cementing our um, our battlefield here. Keep on getting more and more lands into play. Rude. <clears throat> yeah, we could go for a finale. I don't know if I have... Do I have enough to green finale for, for 10? I don't even know if I need a green finale for 10. That's 30 minus 14 is 16, so we need a green finale for 8. I don't know if I have enough to do that. We could see. Maybe I do. I protect that which cannot protect itself. So I still have four, five, so four, five, six, seven, so fourteen mana. Eight. Yeah, four, five, six, seven. Fifteen. Fifteen minus two. Let's get a big honking goose. No, I was attacking with the goose. Goose lethal. Like, like the goose honked. It was, a, it was a honking goose. All right. We got there seven. Got into seven. Yeah. I gave my opponent some goose bumps. <laughs> the honk was the goose saying GG. <clears throat> uh, okay. Next match. <laughs> Peace was never an option. And we're doing we're doing better than I thought we would do. To be honest. Because there's just so much there's just so much variance in best of one. <laughs> Geese was never an option. Ginger brute. Land? No. Where's our lands? We need some lands. Okay, okay.
Going with Leaf Kindred so I get to Cavalier of Thorns next turn. Just want the most mana possible. Six tears, tears when I cry. Ninety six tears. I cry, 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 cry now. Mm hmm. I don't know if I want Nissa. I mean, I probably want Nissa. Yeah, I don't, yeah, Cavalier has reach, yes, but still, I don't, I don't know. Spitfire, like, I don't know what they're gonna have that gets rid of Cavalier, but if they have something that gets rid of Cavalier, totally I don't know. I'm just kind of being a little safer here. Hey, what's up, Tasty? Nice. With having a backup Oko. Thank you so much, there, Tasty Pop Tart, getting us to our first sub goal of the day. Mm -hmm. You're a tricksy one. I grace you with my lack of presence. I would have played Cavalier of Thorns, though. It would have been a lot easier to attack the Chandra. So, there's that. Say hi to my fiery friends. Would have been able to, like, attack Chandra this turn and, you know, Oko the Spitfire this turn then. Do they, I guess, the, oh, they activated that thing. I didn't see them activate that thing. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Um.
Let's broaden your existence. Oh, this is tough. We could really use Krasis. We're gonna we're basically gonna be like I, I wanna be making food tokens. Like that's what I wanna be doing is making food tokens and gaining life with food tokens, but you know, some of these creatures, Spitfire War Boss. These things are very annoying. Obviously, like we could be dead to a lot of things that you know they could have that kills us. That's six damage right there if they want. Looks like they do, so that's six damage. Um, seven. Seven damage. So if they have a shock, I'm dead. Darn. Yeah, maybe that's different if I if I don't play the first Oko, if I play the Cavalier Thorns instead, maybe that's different. Maybe that's different then. One one creature can only you can only block one creature with each creature. Um yeah, creatures creatures don't get to, to double or like they can't block multiple creatures. You know, it's like if you're thinking on a battlefield, you can't you can't be, like, if they're attacking from lots of different sides, you can't, like, be somewhere to block one thing and somewhere else. There are certain creatures that specifically say that you can, but... So, yeah, our, our O3 could only block 1-1-1. One, one, one. Well, the land wouldn't get Chandra off the board, but... Well, I mean, the, the land didn't tap to attack. Like, the land the land still got to block. Yes, I attacked with a 5-6 that that tapped but the five six also killed a three three in the in the attack because so like if i would have if i would have left the five six back it would have just blocked the three three anyway so the the attack was definitely not a mistake but but um not playing you know playing cavalier a turn later than i did could have been the mistake there yeah all, all of my decks are there on stream decker all right so we just got four rare rewards and the egg so good showing good showing seven and two we we got okode and chandra the three mana planeswalkers are really good and so yeah that, those are the the two that we lost to were oko and chandra you know we got to win a lot of games with oko ourselves though there and you know the 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 later that game goes you know if my opponent doesn't have the shock if we get to untap and then you know make a food token to gain life and and so on like it's just going to get better for us but there we go uh i didn't i don't think i'd really change anything um yeah no i, I everything went pretty well i don't think there's really anything to change as far as would i change anything i don't think so i think it went Went well. Everything did about what I, what I expected, it, what I wanted it to do, expected it to do, um, and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> nope, no agent of treachery. Uh, we, I mean, we're a Fey of Wishes deck at the top end. Like that's the. I really liked having instead of having cards like Manipulation, Agent of Treachery that are so expensive that like against red they don't do anything. We saw that you know we got to play Fey of Wishes on turn two against Mono Red the first time we played against Cavalcade. And, you know, the 1-4 really helped us win that game. And then, you know, we just, we had the fate, you know, like we fave wishes for all sorts of stuff in the sideboard. You know, we can grab mass manipulation, for example, in those kind of games. Well, you, again, fave wishes only grabs non-creatures. You can't grab a creature, so you can't grab agent of treachery. Why not four of fey? Um Basically, I wanted four of all these other cards, really. Uh... And I, I wanted, I, 
you know, I've been adding lands to deck. I wanted 25 land. I could see cutting a once upon a time for another Fey, I guess. But I mean, Fey is just kind of like our end game card. It's not like something we need right away. It's it's something that we get to draw into with having, you know, like Risen Reef draws lots of cards. Same with Krasis. Um, it's not too difficult to find Fey of Wishes. And, you know, once upon a time lets you dig and everything too. It's it's not too difficult to find Fey of Wishes. I think three is perfectly fine there. Okay. Um, so anyway, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also leave some comments. Let me know how you did in this event. What'd you play? How'd you do? How, how'd it go for you? Um, what'd you think of the games that I played here? What'd you think of this deck? Um, and all that kind of stuff. But that's it here for Simic Wishes there in the Win Every Card Challenge. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.